Just a quick update for the starting position of point guard in All-Star Week in 2016. I'm only about 100,000 and some change fans away from catching D-Rose and John Wall. This should be pretty easy. Okay, listen up, everybody. We're going up against a team tonight that I'm way too familiar with. And before we go out there, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page about what we need to do to win this game. So here's the plan. They are a great transition team. We have to get back on defense, and we cannot turn the ball over. So let's go out there and do what we do. Yeah, man. That awkward moment when it sounds like it's 30 people cheering, but it's only five people inside the locker room. <laughs> As an addition to my player, I have added LeBron James's handshake and powder chalk toss. That was the only way to get the pre-tip off and pre-game uh, intros to work. I had other stuff equipped, but it just wasn't working to my liking. But now we're good. All right, now we fast forward to the most crucial point of this game. Now, of course, a lot of people are probably thinking, it's the first quarter. How can the first quarter be crucial? And Melo just missed that three. What's, what's so crucial about this moment? Well, to let you guys know, we were on a seesaw with the Los Angeles Clippers from the get-go. We started off a little bit hot, scoring six straight. But the Clippers, of course, being who they are, they came back. And they put a few points on the board. But with that bucket right there, they came within one. Now, of course, I'm looking at the time, I'm like, oh, you know, it's about four minutes left. You know, the quarter is about to come down to a close. So either I'm going to go to the bench or Chris Paul is going to go to the bench. But before that happens, they do play great defense on me. And Blake Griffin is a beast, man. Being as athletic as he is, like when I call for a pick and I try to get past him, I couldn't get past him at all the entire game. And DeAndre Jordan, man, just blocking my shot like that. It was so hard for me to get to the rack, but, you know, I still find ways to score points. Now, with that bucket, the Los Angeles Clippers do get the lead, but we call a timeout. Now, out of the timeout, something big happens. Now, this is what I meant by crucial. With three and a half minutes left in this first quarter, they bring in Jordan Farmar, which is the biggest mistake they could ever make. Because me, I play the entire first quarter sometimes. Now, check it out, guys. It's two and a half minutes left, and I'm just playing pressure defense, and I get his cookies. Kick it off to my man, JR. Let him run a fast break. I don't even put on the turbo because I know it's good. No need for me to run. No need for me to waste stamina because I know my boy, JR, got me. You feel me? Still leading to a score, doing what we got to do. Now, it's 20 to 15, and they can't hit their free throws, and we love to take advantage of things like that. So I'm going to come over here, use a little bit of limitless range, and say, no, I do not have that badge just yet, but I am working on that badge. You know, um, I think I'll probably get that badge uh, pretty soon, pretty soon, but we'll talk about another badge at the end of this video. Now... In the second quarter, right, they love to sit me down at the start because I play almost the entire first quarter. Now, it's 30 to 22, right? You guys see this score. They are only down eight. They easily, I mean, easily could come back. But check this out. I come in having to stick Jamal Crawford, and we are up almost 20 points. Literally, almost the entire second quarter went by, and they're down almost 20. None of this is my fault. I did none of this. I don't have a miraculous amount of assists, anything. It's just maybe we are the better team tonight. Maybe what Doc Rivers had to say at the beginning of the game really hit home with a lot of our guys. And me sticking Jamal Crawford, I'm trying to get his cookies, but his ball control is just too much for me. So, you know, I'm just going to sag back because I don't want to get too many bad fouls. Now, I don't know why Farmer is still pulling threes out here, knowing he can't do this. But me, I'm a team player, and I throw bounce passes now. Bounce passes are probably so much better than regular passes because they can't pick them off. But one thing I will say about bounce passes, if you do throw them, don't try to throw them cross court because they'll probably hit somebody's leg or something like that, and you'll get the turnover. So when you're throwing bounce passes, make sure you're throwing them the right way. Now, with that nice little pick and roll, you guys saw that Blake Griffin was actually not a part of the pick and roll. He just came over to help, so I was able to get past my defender in order to dunk on him. Now, I am fast forwarding this game all the way out. I don't want you guys to see this entire torture fest man <laughs> it's 119 to 87 
Like, the starters for the Los Angeles Clippers been stopped playing. I don't even think they played much of the third quarter. That's how bad this game has gotten. And, you know, me, I have 46, 6, and 9. You know, it would be great if I got another assist under my belt. But, you know what, it wouldn't hurt me if I didn't. Now, of the reason that I did have this big of a scoring game is because when I came out, the second quarter and I came back in, I didn't have to stick CP3 at all. So the entire time me and him is rotating, I'm not really guarding him that much. I'm guarding Jordan Farmar and Jamal Crawford. So I'm like, oh, all right, well, I guess I'm done seeing CP3 for the rest of this game. And I just went on a scoring tear. Now, I know a lot of people probably go through that when they're playing my career because it does happen. You know, sometimes you don't go up against that star matchup all game long. But let me go ahead and stop this commentary, man. We're going to hop into the conversation me and Doris Burke have after the game. And then we're going to get into this cutscene about this shoe deal. Let's do it. Well, the outcome of this one never really in doubt tonight. Would you say that this is one of the better performances by this team this year? Uh, as of now, I say yeah, but I know in a few weeks that won't be the case because we'll probably be setting records by beating teams by like 100 points or something. And you know I'll be leading the way on that one. Well done. Kevin, a young man always looking for more. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into the real reason why you're watching this video. Woo! My man on fire! Hey, Jack, what up, man? So we in business or we in business? You're definitely the name that's being thrown around the water cooler lately, no doubt. You keep doing what you're doing, keep rising up, then yeah, we in business. Yeah, man, because I'm seeing a signature shoe line and some commercials. Interesting. Interesting, because I was about to say I've been seeing something out. Oh, yeah, what's that? Long road left to travel. <laughs> ah. You're a player now, sure. Not like old J.E. in his prime, no. But uh, everyone is talking about you. You're all over the highlight reels. Remember, though, this is Nike, Jordan. We are the cream that floats above all else. We tell you when it's time not the other way around. I've waited 39 games into my second season. I cannot mess it up now. I gotta go with what he's talking about. Hey, listen, Jack, I ain't ego tripping, man. I'm just trying to be part of the family. I'm gonna earn my way up. You just show me how, all right? Smart man, smart. Okay, we'll be in touch. You keep balling, we'll keep talking. Like I said, it's your show, homie. I'll be watching. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after that conversation with Jackson Ellis, I realized, man, sometimes you got to just bite the bullet. But uh, it looks like I'm here to talk to my agent. Let's see what he's talking about. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel right, man. No, you took the long view, and that's always a good call. Now, all you got to focus on is getting to the end of that rainbow, where we're going to party with that sweet leprechaun who's going to give us his big fat pot of gold. Never mind the troll who's guarding it. Do you even believe half the stuff that comes out of your mouth? And look, you got your fairy tales all mixed up. Trolls guard bridges. You know who doesn't have a troll? Adidas. They just sent me a text. They want you. What? Why do you keep waiting to tell me this stuff, man? The Adidas D-Rose is all I wanted when I was in school. It's all teed up. You say the word, I'll make it happen. Or we'll go back to Ellis for one final meeting to make it official with either Nike or Jordan. And don't get worried. There are ample opportunities with all of them. I'm talking commercials, billboards, uh, personal appearances, signature shoes, oh yeah, and plenty of money. This comes down to personal preference. I'll do whatever you want. It's your call. All right, so now that we've talked about Adidas, Nike, and Jordan, I have to be somewhat of a troll here. Now, I wonder, what would you guys want me to pick? Do you want me to pick Jordan, Nike, or Adidas? Leave it inside the comment section. I'm not going to choose until you guys choose for me. What you going to do? What is it, what's it going to be? I'm going to go with Nike, man. That's who I grew up seeing myself with, and I can't imagine going away from that now. <sighs> Nike it is, then. I'll set up the final meeting with Ellis, and we'll get this done. Swoosh. 
All right, all right, all right. I know y'all probably trolled me and put Adidas all in the comment section. <laughs> I'm not crazy, but um, I did pick Nike um, because I want a Nike brand shoe. I love the Kobe 9s. And guess what, guys? I have the Sprite Posterizer now. So now that I have this badge, I will be upgrading it to gold, and I will be dunking on fools at the park and the wreck. I'll see y'all later. Yeah.